you know what, a creative process. You know, like having nothing at all. Like it's like having a blank piece of paper with nothing on there. And then, then you putting a couple of words together and, and just making it look good. And, and kind of just the whole process of creating a, maybe a composition or like a, a thought of something and you make you putting that to a melody and then taking it to a producer or sitting with a music producer and, and the, you know the creative process of making a song is so exciting because after making the whole thing you think wow man this is like this is like we're just chilling in the studio doing nothing and this song just come about and it's the energy of the song sick or the whole vibe makes me feel like this and I think that's what kind of excites me even today man, the creative process. My current best artist would have to be probably J. Cole. I think he's, he's, he's an exceptional writer. Um, he's, he believes in what he writes about, he's passionate, and he hasn't followed a trend. He's just gone with what he feels. And he's, whatever he goes through like, in terms of emotion, he puts that out there. And I think that's what artistry is about. It's about following your heart and the passion. And I think for me, even though he's not a singer and I'm a singer, I think um, J. Cole for me is like, my favourite and best artists of our generation. Grime was the thing, like growing up, everyone had UK rap, like grime banging in their cars, or in their CD players, or in their tape players, whatever it was. So grime, I grew up with that. So I love grime music, man. And even now, I, I can see the influences of music that's com that are coming out from England. Like even people like Stormzy, people like Skepta, Gigs, these are old school grime artists that have, that have been around about well, Skepta and Gigs, they've been around for since grime times, but it's obviously come down to UK rap, so yeah man, I love UK grime and rap, and it's yeah. the vibe, it's sick. Drake, Coastline, someone like Skepta and Section Boys, it kind of all came through, and then um, even though there was a whole scene kind of erupting in the UK, he kind of, um, he co-signed it, and from that it's just, it's gone crazy man. It's good to see that people here are listening to it as well man, because it's, uh, it's something that's been formed, like it's quite, it's quite fresh and quite young. Not like uh, hip hop is like it's been going on for years. But UK grime is quite so quite new. You know what I love LA man. I think it's got such a sick energy because like it reminds me a bit like I shouldn't say this. It reminds me a bit like London and Bombay, but a cleaner version than both of them cities. Yeah. <laughs> But it's got a great energy. I think I love the hustle of this city, man. Like everyone's on a hustle, everyone's on a vibe. There's like, I love the style of, of the way people dress here. I like the, people way, the way people talk. I just, I love that about this city, man. And I like New York as well. I think New York's a vibe. Um, I think these are the main two places really for me. Uh, Trump, man. <laughs> <laughs> he annoys me, man. But anyway, that's a, that's a, I don't want to go into that. The one thing that really annoys me here is, is immigration in America, man. It's such a mission. Like, doing immigration here, like, it's so rude. Like, in Britain, they have, like, this real... It's, it's still quite polite, but when you come to America, like, immigration is, like... These guys are so rude, man. I think that's the only thing I dislike. Everything else is cool. And I, obviously, I think the one thing I, I dislike and I feel kind of disheartened about is the poverty in the streets, man. Like, even, like, downtown, like, for example, in LA. That kind of upsets me, man, because we live in a, you know, in a, I don't want to go with same thing you guys here, yeah, but you got, we live in a, like, um, you know, Western countries, Western countries, man, we shouldn't get seen probably here, yeah, but it's just the difference of the, of the class of people, man, that kind of upsets me. Apart from that, I think it's cool. And I don't, and I don't want to say Brazil, because everybody says Brazil, but I would have been, I would have hoped that someone like Italy was in it, because it is a sick team, but it's all right, man. I think I'll know by next week, so. I guess you guys are going to have to find out. I was a coach for Liverpool Football Club and a coach for a Chelsea Football Club and I was doing like campaigns with the England squad. It's just to help encourage South Asians in football. So I did like, I did like, um, I'm an FA level two coach. So um, if that means anything to anybody who's watching, but basically going out and just encouraging young kids that are fans of my music and just encouraging them because like when I was growing up, football wasn't a massive thing for the Asian, South Asian community. It was all about you need to be a doctor, you need to be a mathematician, you need to be a scientist, whatever, yeah? But uh, an accountant, whatever, or do business. But so I kind of wanted to break the barriers and meet, when I was meeting like parents and meeting like kids, I just wanted to show them that I'm a musician and I'm successful, you know, and that's because I followed my path, I followed my vision and my passion. So um, that's what it's about, really. But I'm, I'm still involved in some sort of way in terms of, um, I mean, 
still support. There's a few young kids that are coming out of the UK, like Jan Danda, he's playing for Liverpool. While he was playing for Liverpool, I would still watch what he's doing and there's a few of the kids that are coming through. But yeah, man, football's still there, man. It's been, my last album was 2009, like, so it's been, it's been a minute, man, and um, it's called Pieces of Me. So it's just, um, it's an eight track album. So I've already dropped four singles off the album. Um, a song called Oi Hoi, which was shot in LA actually last year. Uh, a song called Gurti, which is the Kani Kapoor, Kani Kapoor, and So Simple. And uh, the song recently I released called Shezad, that's a very desi vibe. But there's another video I've shot in LA, but I can tell you about that a bit later on. Actually, there's more songs than there. I just speak about them as well. There's a song called Faisal on the album, which is a really cool Pakistani vibe, you know, Arabic kind of vibe. Um, that's produced by a guy called Free Rax. There's a few, this is a, a song with Vibes Are Down. Uh, he's a great producer, man. It's called Ha. It's a really cool, like, um, pop vibe. Uh, so, and, and then uh, there's a song called Purple Suit, which is a sick vibe. So there's like eight tracks on the album. So it's gonna be exciting, man. I'm, I'm excited for people to get an album from me because I haven't dropped an album in so long, so many years. And it's just been singles. Like, even since, like, High Heels, that I had High Heels 2012 and all them, it was just been singles, singles, singles. But a lot of people don't know the songs that I released from 2012 and to, until 2015, they were meant to be on my album. But it's just the whole wave, the whole style of, the, of, of things changed. Everybody wants and wanted singles. The concentration was on singles, so it changed that way. But um, yeah, they were meant to be on my album, but these are new set of songs and I'm sure people will like them. I think it's wicked, man. I think. I think people have got, um, it's, it's made it a li little bit more, um, I say, challenging for new artists to be recognized because it's, it's, it's a saturated market. But I think it's great because it gives you the opportunity to just upload your song and hopefully go viral or people to hear your music, like wherever on social media. So I think it's a great, great, great platform, man. And I think um, with, with this, there's so many new artists that come out from North America, which is so refreshing because Everything that I, I heard growing up was music from the UK, music from India, and nothing was coming out from, from, from North America. But now, over the past few years, you guys have had some great artists come out, which is wicked and inspiring for me as well, man, to see who's doing what and what kind of music that artist is doing. And it's just inspiring, man, that the scene is actually growing. And so it's, it's pretty sick. My instrument, Harmonium. Reason being, because like, imagine this year, I always say this, and it sounds so like a Bollywood film here, but imagine this, like, being nine years old, yeah, and someone just shoving a harmonium in front of you and saying, you know, try and play this, see how you get on. Like, you, you, you think, I am not going to be playing this. And then you start playing it and you start singing with it, so that's my, always going to be my favourite instrument. And you know, when I first, first started, it sounds so crazy, I was going to all my interviews in my harmonium, and like, I got the tag in the UK, I was the guy with the harmonium. So like, that's my instrument, man. Uh, people just think I'm shy. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like it's maybe because of the way I come across. But I'm not, man. I'm just and <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, it's just people think I'm shy. I'm not. It's just the way I, the way I look. My dad, definitely, most definitely. My dad was a singer like, in the '80s, so he was like he had a massive passion for like for Punjabi music and Bollywood music. So. So he had a band, a band, a Punjabi Desi band. Then there's like Punjabi uh, live music was like the thing. It was, it was the thing. So um, like gr growing up and just seeing him perform like at gigs and just having rehearsals every week and just his mates coming around on Sundays for parate, you know, that thing, it just inspired me, man. Like I just think just being around that kind of um, hustle, you should say, band hustle, it inspired me. You know, I want to do something in music. but. When it all changed for me was, it was one particular day. I remember, like, I've got, two, I've got a brother and a sister, and um, we were just chilling at my house, watching a bit of TV, and my dad was like, you know what, why don't you guys try singing this song, like some random, I don't know what it was, some random song. And I was like, I was like a shy kid when I was, when I was young, like really shy, I didn't wanna, didn't wanna sing, and I thought, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. He got my brother to do it, it sounded like a, it sounded terrible, you know what I did. Um, got my sister to sing something, she didn't sound very good. Like then I then he was like, why don't you try this? I was like, alright, cool. Let's try the little thing and somehow I sounded in key and from there just I just started learning music and the journey kind of began. 
I'd have to be Air Rahman. Like, Air Rahman's one of the, for, for my scene, for, for what I represent uh, in terms of being a South Asian, it's got to be Air Rahman. I think he's phenomenal, man. But there's one collaboration that if you guys haven't seen, I want you guys to see it, yeah? There's a collaboration I did for the BBC. It was for, with 27 international artists. Like, this was crazy, actually. Stevie Wonder, Pharrell Williams, Emily Sande, Sam Smith, One Direction. There's a song called God Only Knows. I'm not gonna say too much about it. If, you, if you're watching this here, you have to go online and type in God Only Knows, and the top thing that comes up, you'll see it, and I'm in there. So check that out. That's, that's quite an amazing collaboration. Is Ma Punjabi Bolia because of what it represents. Um, it's a very traditional, it kind of represents my, my voice for Punjabi language and my passion for Punjabi language. Uh, favorite slower vibe, Senti vibe, I call it, is a song called Nazrat Girgayi Basardu Sikandar. Favorite pop vibe, <laughs> so I'm going, you know. Uh, favorite pop vibe uh, is, I would say, Billie Jean because of the way it's produced. And uh, favorite rap vibe is, uh, you know what, I could just go on, man. Seriously. I'd love to be doing martial arts, man. Yeah, I, I used to do MMA, mixed martial arts, and Thai boxing. So, and I still kind of do a bit of boxing size, but boxing here and there. So maybe, maybe a training fire or something, man. Or a music teacher. I could, do, I could still do that now. What's really interesting is that, yeah, um, seeing it from a, like a like a dancers and a choreography kind of like point of view. Obviously, when I make videos, I'm always in them. Like I'm always in the videos, but. It's so, it's so cool to see the way you guys have directed this and the way you've got this kid to be like this cool kid and the energy, you brought the energy with the dancers and it's just cool, the whole concept of the video is like super cool man. So I, I'm, I'm just excited man. Yeah, it's so fun for because, you guys to see. yeah, we're, we're really excited. I think it's, I think it's just interesting because um, what a lot of people don't even realize is that the movement that we have as dancers can translate to the movement and the colors and the ideas and the concepts that are formulated around a video. Yeah. And so it's been really nice to kind of translate that and um, draw some parallels there. So it's, it was, it was a, an incredible opportunity. Ricky, man, thank yeah. you guys, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. you guys. Yeah. Also. Yeah. High heels is one of our favorite things. Oh, yes. thank you, man. Oh, thank <laughs> you, man. Cool. Oh, yeah. right. Which version, though? Because there's two versions of you all, right? So oh, I actually yeah. just danced to the second version, um, the newer version, in uh, Thailand in December for my friend's oh, wedding. Oh, sick. And then we got the call that you were interested in working with That's us. Mad. And so, like, yeah. I was calling because that was, like, our theme for my friend's wedding in Thailand. Oh, sick. And then um, when I was telling my friends, like, oh, you know, we're super excited. Chai and I are working with Jazz. They were like, what? <laughs> and we were just oh, like, yeah, sick. I the entire week. It's wicked, man. Yeah. 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 Super excited. That's yeah. great. Check out my brand new single featuring Shivani and Chai. Edward. Peace out. Check it out.